All righty, so let me um, just share my story. All of you know it by now, but just to, to catch up, I think um, for me, being on this journey for 27 years, and I must say, um, I remember the first time I drank the regional tea, I thought I couldn't get this stuff down my throat. <laughs> I said, what do you want me to drink this stuff? <laughs> but then, um, and I actually spoke to somebody yesterday as well that tasted the shake years ago. Our, our shakes are so nice and we were not taught how to make a nice shake. So I used to take my powder in lukewarm water in a, in a, in a uh, glass and to, to stir it with a fork. So you would like chew on those lumps of powder. Um, no, no, no nutri bullet. So um, take note, make a delicious shake by adding lots of water and ice, two scoops of a shake, two scoops BDM, and a all my normal. Um, Magda, I must take your new initiative to make interesting shakes is <laughs> my dangerous for 2020. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna see what what how can I be creative here. But um, on this journey, I think the biggest thing is my mindset change, that I was able to get free of diet thinking, although I'm still really focusing and watching my better, to make better choices, to have my two shakes a day. I love my shake. So, um, and the day that I don't have a shake, maybe the odd, then I really miss it. It's like my, in, like my, I didn't have my food. So my body really craves it. But for me, I lost eight kilos in the first eight weeks. Now I've, I've gone down a total of 14 kilos. But I think one of the things that's really great about the Breakfast Club and our 10 day challenges that we have, in even the 21 days, but I came back actually from um, an event in overseas. We were in Lyon. I actually in six months was twice overseas and with the food there was very good. And I fell a bit off track and I came back and looking fluffy as you can see on this picture here. And then started with 10 day what I then called breakthroughs. For me, the biggest was to eat. It was not a thing to eat right during the week, but weekends are often used to cheat, but cheat too much. So I would lose one or two kilos during the week and then over the weekend, just put it back on again. And this time around, I wanted to break through those weekends. So, um, and that was just that mindset change. But the biggest thing is I also brought in exercise and just focused. And for a while, I really decided not to, um, you know, have that evening treat or maybe a sweet thing um, and just really get the weight down. So for me, again, I actually lost from 76 down to 69. It's only seven kilos, but the change and the centimeters, if you look at my after result, um, and for me, the biggest thing is arms at this stage. <laughs> so I've got my weight so that I can exercise the arms as we, as we get older. Unfortunately, our arms want to go to go with gravity so we need to work with them <laughs> okay so our subject this morning <clears throat> as I said um uh, one that I actually love to do occasionally is to take one scoop of um, chop or vanilla, and then uh, one PDM and one iced coffee. So if you want to have that boost of a coffee in the morning um, with your shake, then it's actually very nice. <clears throat> and then I'm going to make the cottage cheese for lunchtime, which is also a favorite for those of you that love puddings. <coughs> uh, frog, yeah. So you can actually don't have to make a big tart. You can just take your, your um, pudding bowl and put two spoons of cottage cheese, um, two spoons of um, a plain yogurt, like the plain Bulgarian yogurt, but I don't take the creamy one. I just take the low fat one, some lemon rind and the juice of a lemon. 
and two scoops vanilla um, powder, one PDM. And then you can put a fruit of your, of your choice. Um, the best is the low GI, which is either kiwi or um, strawberries. So I encourage you guys to go and try this at lunchtime and share a pic with us. Um, if you want to change it up a bit, if you've got a sweet tooth, what I've also done is um, take one of our chop bars and, and grate some of the chop bar over. So if you want to make it a chocolatey flavor, you can do that as well. Okay, hey, and I'm, then, I'm, yeah. Uh, how much yogurt do you use? Two scoops, two, two like, scoops. Um, <clears throat> two spoons. Could you have oh, honey? <coughs> Um, two spoons, so it's like a pudding, a pudding lip. Okay. Okay. After I'll tell you what, two of cottage cheese. And two cottage cheese, because it, you want to have that um, cottage cheese mm. taste. And the syrup, and that's why the lemon rind mm -hmm. plus the lemon juice makes it more okay. of a sweet, sour taste. It's this boiler. Okay. Okay. Lemon yeah. meringue, it's really nice. Can I tell you yeah. what I did yesterday? We're just a few people, so I'm, I'm barging in here. We've got some iced coffee in the cupboard that's standing there, and we keep on forgetting to make it for a snack. So I took one scoop of iced coffee and two scoops of yogurt and one scoop of um, PDM and uh, vanilla, one scoop of vanilla. So just to, you know, try and, and get a, like a meal vibe. And then I put a little bit of milk in there and I added some sweetener. Man, it was like coffee chocolate pudding. You know that pudding oh, yeah. that you that you get in a trifle like that yeah. to buy? It was amazing. And the, the iced coffee makes it like light and fluffy. Yeah. It almost adds yeah. like air mm. to it. It was mm. really, really good. So yeah. You should yeah. Okay, so what do for ice coffee? Two. I put one scoop in. Yeah. Um, because that's very strong. That, strong. That ice it is very strong, strong the yeah. flavor. So I put one scoop of that for one person and two two um, yogurt, plain yogurt, and one scoop of vanilla shake and one scoop of oh. PDM. Okay, very nice. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to definitely try that as well. I often do the coffee with one scoop PDM as a snack because I like the PDM with the coffee because it's very strong yes. on its own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so I wanted to just, this is an old recipe, but this is a very good one, especially like now where the guys are on day nine and they want to get that last result of the 10 days. Um, this is like in the old days, we used to have this free soup that's got Delivery. all the all the uh, you know the green veggies and so on in and this is so easy you throw this literally all in a pot and then i take a um a chicken stock uh, um, often but i like to actually take a chicken breast um fry it up with the onion so it just adds to the flavor and a little bit of spices with that and then i throw that into the soup as well. It just makes it some more protein. And then I take um, our savory soup so, and I blend it up so that it's, it's a white creamy soup. I like a lot of cauliflower because the cauliflower makes it um, almost creamy, if you can call it that. And then I take two cups of milk with like four scoops. This is obviously a pot of soup, um, of scoops of the savory shake, and then lots of nutmeg um, and cayenne pepper. Um, if you like spicy, then you can put maybe a bit more of the cayenne pepper, but this is delicious. And it's very nice to freeze. I take those smaller yogurt, uh, little containers, or you could even take, if you use Nightworks or the big tea, you can, freeze it as one meal in your freezer and then in the morning just take it out and it could be like a four o'clock snack as well so um i know it's like more a warm thing and not maybe now applicable in summer but this is really something that you could make you know once a month and have it as sort of as a backup um, and sometimes nice for dinner you don't want to eat heavy and then you have this soup 
Okay, so I want to just, okay, so today we are on fiber. So let's watch this little clip. Fiber is an essential part of a healthy diet and helps to keep your digestive system in good working order. It cannot be broken down by our bodies, so the majority of it passes through our digestive system. In general, we need 25 grams of fiber a day. However, the average daily intake for adults is below 15 grams a day. Herbalife Oat Apple Fiber is developed to help you supplement your daily diet with the right amount of fiber. It contains six natural fiber sources from apple, oat, maize, citrus, chicory, and soya. Each serving of oat apple fiber provides you with five grams of fiber and contains only 18 calories per serving, perfect for those looking to up their fiber intake without the extra calories. Oat apple fiber is sugar-free and has no artificial sweetness. It has a delicious apple flavor and is very simple to make. Just add one scoop of powder to a glass of water to help support your digestive system. Contact your Herbalife Nutrition member today for further details. Um, another suggestion that you can do with our uh, apple fiber, I, I like to eat it uh, in my shake. Some people don't like the apple that comes out, but for me, when I do my breakfast with lots of cinnamon, and the apple, it's that apple cinnamon flavor that comes with the vanilla is actually quite nice. But you can also, when you're doing a bowl of oats, I um, love to do oats. I also add the ap apple fiber. Um, and if you want to make it as a snack drink, then again, you can make it with a little bit of tea and aloe. Add your multi-fiber more, Howie. Um, and... And add one, either PPP or uh, PDM, um, because that, and make it in like in a, in a liter. You know, we were taught this jet fuel. We were actually talking about that in the, that drink yesterday. But um, I used to make it with two liters. That two liters was for me too much liquid. I, oh, I don't like to drink so much, not clean water, if I can call it that. So, but I, it's still a good thing to help with, with your fiber and your protein if you make a liter and drink that throughout the day. Um, um, and also will help you with your fiber intake for the day. And then to understand our soluble and insoluble fibers, soluble is um, fibers that are digestible in your tract. And then you have the insoluble, which is more raw fibers. Um, and so oats, for instance, is a digestible fiber. So it's more gentle. And for people that have really got tummy issues, must be careful not to have too much of the raw fibers. And this is why it's so important to help our customers and, and ourselves to eat enough fiber 25 grams of fiber can add up to a lot of calories and this is where the multi-fiber makes it so easy because if you look at having it with oats in the morning you're almost getting 10 grams of fiber there if you then have a second scoop somewhere and you're having your fruits and your veggies or especially like this soup that i just explained to you that's a lot of vegetable fibers that you're getting in there as well with the goodness of the protein um, beans are a good source, green beans, peas. So important to have your sort of an understanding of what, what the, the benefits are. Okay, again, just showing um, some foods that's good in, got lots of fiber. And today we are having a video from my favorite lady, but this clip especially um, was very good um, one for me, especially around um, you know, weight management. Over to Mel. This is a question about dieting. Uh, hi, Mel. For my entire life, I've been overweight. Now I'm trying to diet for the first time in my life. Wow. That takes courage. Right there. That you've been overweight your entire life and you're taking this on. So first things first, you need to know that we're all very proud of you. So you're writing and saying that you feel lost and trapped, but you're going to keep going, but you have this massive feeling of insecurity and vulnerability. Can you please explain why I feel this way? Sure. When you take on a massive change, whether it's trying to diet after a lifetime of being overweight, or maybe running your first race after a lifetime of never ever exercising, or maybe it's 
starting to date again after you lost your spouse to cancer, when you confront something that's gonna require you to change your behavior, you basically come face to face with the gap between who you are right now and the future person you wanna be. And sometimes when you see how big that gap is, it sucks. It's overwhelming. The amount of work that it's gonna take to close that gap between where you're at and what you dream about suddenly feels insurmountable. The reason why you feel vulnerable and you feel insecure is because you're starting to focus too much on how much you're gonna have to do and that's overwhelming you. That's happened to me in my life. You know, what I come face to face with is this fear that I actually might suck that I actually might not be able to do this. And when I start to convince myself that I'm not gonna be able to close that gap between what I weigh now and what I really dream about looking and feeling like, then I start giving up. So you're gonna feel vulnerable. You're gonna feel insecure. And there are two things that I want you to do. I want you to narrow your focus down to the literally minute to minute decisions that you're making about your health. Don't think big picture, get through today. Second thing I want you to do, I want you to use the five second rule. The way that you're gonna use it is, if you have a diet, the diet is very straightforward. It's black and white. There's a list of things you're allowed to eat and a ton of things that you're not allowed to eat. So the diet itself is very straightforward and simple, but the reason why dieting isn't easy is because of how you feel about dieting. Dieting itself is simple, the reason why it's hard is because you listen to how you feel. I want you to go through an exercise where you write down all of the triggers that make you eat. Do you like to eat after you've had breakfast? Like you like a little snack on the way to work. Do you like to eat when you feel vulnerable? Do you like to eat at five o'clock in the afternoon? Do you like to eat when you feel bored? Do you like to eat when you're sitting in front of the TV? Do you like to eat after dinner? Do you sample everything off of your kids' plates? If you've got kids, like identify all those areas where you fall into the trap of, of not following your diet. Now what I want you to do is to use a piece of research that has proven over and over and over again in an experiment after experiment after experiment that will make you three times more likely to stick to your diet. You ready? It's called if then planning. So I had you make a list of all those places where you're, you're, you're probably gonna cheat, right? Where you start to feel a certain way, you feel defeated, you feel tired, you feel bored, you feel pissed off at your boss. You're not really thinking, so you're shoving food in your mouth. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that list of things that trigger you to cheat on your diet and you're gonna use if then planning. And how it works is this. You're gonna say, if I feel tired, then what are you gonna do? Because right now what you're doing is you're eating. If I feel tired, then I'm gonna stand up and go for a walk around the house. If I feel bored, then I'm going to stand up and walk into the kitchen and I'm gonna allow myself to surf online and check out Facebook for five minutes instead of eating. If I feel stressed out or I feel like I can't do it anymore, then I'm gonna call a friend. The reason why you wanna do this is because, first of all, you've told the truth to yourself about all the ways that you cheat and all the things that trigger you to overeat and not stick to your diet. And secondly, you stuck something in place that is your plan B so that you're not subject to your emotions in the moment. So, here we go. You're vulnerable because you're focused on the gap between where you are and the future you. So first things first, let's narrow the focus and let's focus day to day, moment to moment on what you're doing. Second, you're gonna use the five second rule. The moment you feel yourself cheating on your diet or being drawn toward food you shouldn't be eating, count backwards, five, four, three, two, one. That will quiet all of the garbage in your mind, it will awaken your prefrontal cortex, and it will point you toward your goal, which is sticking to that damn diet. And finally, I want you to do an assessment and identify all the ways in which and things that trigger you to overeat and cheat on your diet. And then I want you to come up 
with an if then. If I feel this, if I see this, if I catch myself doing this, then I'm gonna pick up the phone or I'm gonna go for a walk or I'm gonna surf Facebook. I'm gonna do something other than cheat on my diet. Try those things, let us know how it goes. And most of all, we want you to know we're really proud of you for taking it on because it takes a lot of courage to face the things that aren't working in your life and to push yourself to change it. I think this is really one wow. of her best um, videos around helping people to find um, a solution um, on, you know, defaulting or, you know, for me, number one, you mustn't have, if you have triggered foods, is don't have them and I, in your cupboard. And I think like last week we were talking and LZ said what she did is the cupboard that had the sweets in now has the bars in and the, the chips and the soybeans. So the cupboard where she was triggering to has now got Herbalife alternatives um, in the cupboard. Um, so for me, number one, don't have those things that those sweet things or whatever it was that was triggering you or the, that um, salty crack. Um, if, if you are a salty tooth, have some um, almonds, have some something else and or maybe like the little rice cakes. But as I say, the chips now are, is a good solution for the salty teeth. But um, listing the trigger, uh, listing the triggers and getting doing the planning, the if then planning, I think is such a great tip of hers and the smaller focus. Because again, I think if somebody has like 30 kilos to lose, it's, it's such a big number. Break it down into four kilos or five kilos now. I'm only focusing on this small goal and then, you know, doing it by, in bite sizes. Anybody else? What did you guys get? I got the gap, that, that, that in yeah. between gap, oh my goodness. Um, I think I'm sitting there. I've been sitting there for a while now. <laughs> Not just in terms of eating, <laughs> in terms of a whole lot of other things being yeah. different, you know, from one career to another, to, from yeah. one house to another. It's, it's a crazy, it's a, not yeah, a nice gap to be in. It's, yeah. yeah. And it feels like it's never going to end. And I know it will. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So, and and I like what she's saying about breaking it down. You know, yeah. just focus on now and just make the right choice for now. Um, but I've always been a, like a big, big picture thinker. So I always think about the big picture. So it's difficult for me to stick to not worrying about the big picture and being okay already. Focusing, yeah, focusing on what you want to do now because it is today's action that's going to get you to that, to that end result, yeah. No. But mm. not having things in your cupboard is really an amazing, it's mm. liberating. Mm. I mean, I'm a real savory tooth and Howard also, he likes his cheese and biscuits. And I... I, if I don't have it in the cupboard, it really doesn't bite me, but he always has it in the cupboard. So it's, it's really, I, I had to make a real mind shift that, you know, that he eats that stuff. If he wants to eat that, I'm not going to. There's no cast. Pluck it to my cast. Stay cast. And if he takes that out things, I'll just look at him and I honestly don't even feel like it. Mm because I've got that mindset, but it took long to get there. Yeah, so the trigger thing is really something. But so certain things still, if I eat an oats cookie, I can't stop, I have to eat all, and I'm not even a sweet tooth. I don't even have a sweet tooth, crazy. But anyway, yeah, it really works not to have it in your house. I'm talking loud so you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anybody else? Okay, all good. Marta? 
No, I like that if then planning. I think that yeah. is very yeah. slotting onto Karina, but I think that if and then the small yeah. things, the claim song the kiss in the castle the valley yes, I think yeah. that is something that I need to start need to plan on to have to walk away from that. So yeah. Everything okay. else is good, but that late afternoon is the downfall. <laughs> you need to change that. Right. It's like after right. exercise, you know, exercise so hard and then you get to the kitchen and then wrong choices. I'll work on that. Was it for you? Okay, how much you eat? Oh my word! And you're so tiny now. But anyway, good. That's a okay. Oh, she's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's uh, uh, share screen again. Um, just the last two slides. This one is learn to say no. Um, and, and as I said, um, <laughs> just having your having your 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 alternative there rather than having that cupcake there looking at you. Um, and magic weight loss pill. It is ninety percent mindset <laughs> for me, definitely. <laughs> Um, and yeah, the decision to make um, for, is number one. Um, and then I love this one as well. Um, oh, yes, just a great result to share. This is um, Tasha's result. You know, sometimes people say, like yesterday, I had the team year a little bit together. And uh, one of the girls said, oh, no, she's thin. She doesn't need her life. Um, of course, she needs her blood. She needs a good breakfast. Often, they, you know, you get that skinny, thin people. And if we look at Tasha, she was always skinny, but she she needed to tone up and needed recovery for from a lot of exercise. So, um, also a brilliant result to to see somebody in her forties in such great shape. Um, and yeah, very very inspiring result um, from Tasha. And your diet is not only what you eat, it's what you watch, what you listen to, what you read, the people you hang out with, the things you subject your mind and soul to. Always be mindful of the things you put into your body, emotionally, spiritually, spiritually and physically. So I love this one because I think that is, um, you know, really uh, as Jim also, always says, also what you surround yourself, the five people you surround yourself with and um, what you're focusing on as, um, as we heard from Mel as well. Okay, I hope you guys got something this morning. We are going to say goodbye. Thank, Just you. Thank you so much. And, and Have a lovely day. Okay, thank you for joining me over my cup of tea. <laughs> thank Cheers. you. Bye. See you. Bye.